For which right sides find the condition on B1, B2, B3, are these systems solvable? Okay, so we could try to solve them using the methods of chapter uh, 1 and 2 that we've been doing and find the conditions on B1, B2, B3. But uh, on A, uh, we notice uh, that uh, row number 2 is equal to twice row number one so we can on the first one we can solve it by observation so I'll just do it by that because I'm going to solve B using the long way so I'll give you a different perspective here on A on how to catch some of these things sometimes so row 2 is 2 times row 1 because uh, 1 times 2 is 2 4 times 2 is 8 and 2 times 2 is 4 so to go from here to here from here to here from here to here we multiply by 2 and notice also that row 3 is equal row 1 times minus 1 so if I multiply row 1 by minus 1 I get row 3 so of course that has to apply on the right hand side as well so just from these two conditions I conclude that uh, B2 has to equal 2b1 right and uh, b1 or b3 has to equal minus b1 so for the system to be solvable i should have this b2 twice b1 and negative b1 equal b3 or negative b3 equal b1 either way Okay, I'll take a quick break and I'll go back to B to use this. Okay, part B. Uh, let me solve the augmented matrix to see. Uh, here, it doesn't seem that there's to be any relationship between the... Well, uh, row 1 and row 3. Uh, yeah, row 1 is negative row 3. Oh, okay, there is. Uh, so that immediately tells me that b1 has to equal negative b3 because to go from here to here we just multiply by minus 1 but let me just solve the augmented matrix to sh show you a different perspective so what I could do is I could solve this and see what I get what kind of conditions I get on uh, uh, b1 and b2 and b3 Okay, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, what if I do a negative 2 uh, R1 or I could add uh, R1. Let's first deal with this. Uh, 2 times R3 plus R2 and I would get here so this will get me 1 4 B1 2 9 oh sorry uh, so 2 minus 2 0 uh, 2 I would get minus 8 plus 9 1 and uh, 2b3 plus b2 and this guy stays as is and uh, why don't in the same step I would just add r1 plus r3 might as well so I can zero this so I could get 0 0 4 minus 4 is 0 and b1 plus b3 okay nice so uh, we did it all in one shot you could see this is a diagonal matrix uh, it's an upper triangular matrix so uh, definitely uh, from this I could see that uh, this guy here has to be a zero uh, because uh, this this here is zero and this here is zero no and so um, I conclude uh, by saying that B1 plus B3 has to equal a zero which makes b1 equal minus b3 exactly what we saw by observation and uh, 
So that's so that's for, for for the for this to have a solution then b1 has to equal minus b3 this is the only requirement that does it